Say hi YouTube. You making your debut? What is that? Oh, are you vlogging? Are you vlogging? <laughs> you are so cute. Hi, so this video is probably as much a surprise for you as it is for me because yesterday I was not intending on getting new wraps and today now I am. So it's quite unexpected and quite last minute but let me explain why. So I've been recently sharing a lot of adverts for rats and my stealing homes on my Instagram because the crisis in this country is insane. There are so many small pets needing homes, so many people giving up small pets, things like rabbits, guinea pigs, rats. There's just an abundance of them and I'd like to think it's because the cost of living has increased but most of them, the captions on them or the descriptions are my kids have got bored of them or I just don't have enough time for them which I guess is fair enough. There's so many at the moment needing homes and I've been sharing them on my Instagram. Now luckily a lot of them have been a bit too far for me to go and get myself which is a good thing because otherwise I would end up with a lot of them but a few people have messaged to say that they've adopted them and got them out of the bad situations because a lot of them are in tiny awful cages and these people have helped which is good but I have found one particular advert for rats, baby rats and they're only about 20 minutes from me so I messaged and let me read you the advert. So it's quite vague, it just says 12 week old male rats, really adorable and great pets, comes with cage, I just haven't got the time for them because of work and would need to go to loving homes, thanks. So these are the pictures of the rats, I'll pop them on screen. They are so cute but they're in some sort of weird metal contraption. I can't really figure out what's going on but it does seem like a wire based cage. And then this is the picture of the cage which I can't tell from this the size, either that's a really big hammock or this is a really small cage, I can't quite decide but it does look like it's mostly wire based and they're standing on the wires and there's not a whole lot in the cage, mostly just boxes with bedding in, a ladder, a hammock, they've got a water bottle but apart from that there's not a whole lot going on in the cage. Right at the bottom of this picture you can kind of see that like fluffy hamster bedding that isn't safe for hamsters or rats, they can get this stuck on their limbs and cut the circulation off it's not safe at all so I really felt like I wanted to get them out of the situation and offer them a good home so I did message. So the only information really that I've got is that they are 12 weeks old and he did get them from pets at home and because of this they are a little bit shy, they are coming up to him for food and treats which is good and I did ask if they have any health issues, if they're sneezing at all and he said they're not which is good but the only reason really that he's giving them up is because he's working I think he said 12 hour shifts and he just doesn't have the time to put into them to tame them and spend with them so that's fair enough at least he's realized pretty early on that he doesn't have the time for rats and I was hoping to have this weekend to prepare and set up the cage I'm just cleaning my carrier but I've not set up a cage or anything yet so I was hoping to have a bit more time than just today to do that but he says he's going away for a week and doesn't have anyone to look after them so I need to go and get them today and I'm going to bring you along with me. I've got them, we just got home, I feel so so bad, they're so terrified. Um, I had to grab them to get them out of their cage because they weren't coming out so I feel really bad. Hi babies. I'll show you quickly but last thing I want is rats loose in the car. Oi. Hello. It's okay. That's a berry by the way, not blood. It's okay buddy. Hi. I know it's scary. Everything else is going to be less scary from now on. I promise.
Okay, so that's gonna have to do for now. I do have some more rat stuff in the garage, but it's late and I don't wanna go searching for it, so I'll put a few more things in, but to be honest, they're probably not gonna touch very much of this because they are so scared, so I do have to put in a water bowl just in case they prefer that. I think they had water bottles in their cage already, but I can't find the like fixing thing for the bowls that go in this cage, so I'm gonna go look for those, but I just really want to get them in, so I'm gonna try and do this as quietly as possible. Okay, sweethearts, are you ready? I know it's very scary, I'm so sorry. Ready? Loud noise, loud noise incoming. Oh, sorry. I know. Oh, good boy. I know, good boy. In we go. Good boy. Are you coming? You're very squished. Hi, sweet. Okay, so if you know me, you'll know that I never use a bowl for my rat's food. I've not taken a label off this. I never use a bowl, it always promotes scatter feeding, and I always do that with my rats from day one, but because I'm not entirely sure what diet they've had, and they are quite nervous, I just want to make sure they are eating something, so having it in the bowl for the first few days is easy for me to see, rather than it getting buried in the bedding, so just doing this, but please know that I do <laughs> scatter feed my rats normally, but they for the first few days are an exception. So apparently the girl was saying the grey one is a lot more braver than the black one. He tends to come up to the bars and stuff. The other one is a lot more reserved, so that's probably going to be their personalities. There you go. Are you hungry? Here's the water. Here's your water. Okay? I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> They're so excited and curious though, bless them. See you tomorrow. Good boys. Night night. Hi. Good morning. Do you like that hammock? Do you like that hammock? Oh my gosh, you are so cute. Hello. Hi. I can't see you very well. You've been digging. Well, they've eaten all of their food, which is good. Hello. Hello. Hi, my hands smell like food. I was just saying you've eaten all of your food. I've got you some more though. They've drank a little bit of water, which is good. So I have decided to give them some extra protein, even though the guy said they were 12 weeks old and that's the age you tend to stop doing this. I just feel like they could possibly be younger because if they are 12 weeks old and he's had them for about two weeks, that would make them 10 weeks old at the age of purchase. And I wouldn't put it past pets at home to sell baby rats as young as six weeks old. So there is a chance they could be younger. They just still feel really small and soft to me, and they've probably never had extra protein as babies anyway, so it won't hurt to give them a bit extra. And for this we've got a quail egg, some tuna, and some dog biscuits that have kind of soaked in the tuna, so let's see what they think. So I never really fully explained their situation, so a couple bought them, I think it was more the guy's idea than the girlfriend's, but they got them from pets at home, and they've only had them for about two weeks, and he started working longer shifts, I think she said he's working like 12 hour shifts, um, and he's just not spending enough time with them, so they made the right decision, they decided that they should go to a home and they can have more attention, and the cage setup was interesting, I think in the pictures I definitely thought it was bigger than it was 
Um, the base of it was about half the size of the fur rat, which I can't remember how big the base of this is. It was maybe like 40 centimeters, which is not very big at all. Um, and he'd made some weird <laughs> like DIY cage mesh thing on the base of it that was really difficult to get the rat rats out of because they were hiding underneath this and it didn't really come out. So that was interesting. In terms of their setup and the few things they had in the cage, there wasn't very much. Obviously they've only had them for two weeks and I really don't think they were that prepared, but they did offer me the few things they had and I politely declined because most of it wasn't suitable. I think on the base of the cage they were using pine like wood pellets and these aren't really safe because when they get wet and they were really quite wet, they just turn into like sawdust, which is very, very dusty. So that was used. And then I think they also used that fluffy hamster bedding that is not safe for anything. So I declined all of that. Also, the food situation was very interesting. They had an entire cheese sandwich between them in the cage, which they hadn't touched luckily because rats should not be eating that much cheese, if any cheese at all. So that was quite interesting, but that does mean though I've not been able to take any of their used bedding to help them settle. Even if I wanted to, most of it was quite soiled anyway, so I couldn't take any of their food. I didn't see any rat food around, but I'm gathering if they got them from pets at home, it's probably not the best. But yeah, other than the cage itself not really being big enough or suitable, they were standing on wire most of the time. The people were actually really nice and really lovely. They obviously had just impulse purchase them. I not really had enough time to do research, but luckily they realised pretty early on that rats weren't the right pet for them. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't realise this until they bought them, but a lot of people will hold on to them and neglect their needs. And these people realised pretty early on, so I can't fault them for that. Say hi, YouTube. You making your debut? What is that? Oh, are you vlogging? Are you vlogging? <laughs> you are so cute. No, please don't chew it. Don't chew it. Thank you. <laughs> So one thing I do need to do is I need to weigh them, so this should be interesting. I need to try to get them out, but I really want to check they're a good weight and a good size to introduce to my other boys. I have a feeling they're on the smaller side, they look a lot smaller than rats I've had before that have been 12 weeks old, and that could just be genetic, but the black and white one to me looks a lot smaller, so I think he's going to weigh a lot less, but let's see. Oh, that was quite easy. Okay, ready? Sit still, sit still. Oh, that's more than I thought, 305 grams. Good boy. Good boy. 270 grams? 270 grams, okay, we're going with that. <laughs> so I've had them now for just over a week and I've not told you their names yet. We have stuck with the food theme names and I've gone for chocolate names. And we'll start with this guy. So this is Aero, he is a black variegated Dumbo, and he's definitely the shyer of the two. I realised that pretty early on when I went to pick them up. He was definitely a lot more difficult to get out of the cage, and he's still not that interested in being handled, and he is possibly about to jump, but he is the smaller of the two, the shyer of the two, but he is so freaking cute, and I'm obsessed with him, so he's coming around very slowly. He is a lot braver than he was before, but this is Aero. And then this is Kinder after Kinder Bueno, and he is a Russian blue hooded top ear, and he is definitely the braver of the two. He is the one that comes up to the cage if you've got food, and he seems to be doing really well. He's gained a lot of confidence in the past week. He's the bigger of the two, and he's just a lot more confident, but 
he gets into everything he really enjoys destroying things i feel like he's gonna be a troublemaker but one thing that's really interesting about the two of them is they don't really seem to have that much of a strong bond they tend to sleep separately and he tends to scare Aero. i think he tends to run away from him quite a lot so i do think if they were kept as just a pair it probably would cause issues and that's why i always recommend having at least three rats or more rats if you can because they have the chance to build friendships within the group and these two don't really seem like the best of friends so really interested to see how they do with my other boys and I want to get them in as soon as possible. So I'm not going to keep them for too long because it is quite hot in here and they do seem to want to escape but it is really interesting to see their different personalities and I do think having them in with the bigger boys is going to help. It's going to help them to gain some confidence by seeing how they interact with me and I do want to do that sooner rather than later so possibly next week or the week after I'm going to try to do that. But I am also filming a separate video showing you how I bonded with them in the first week and things I'm doing slightly differently than if I was to have rats from a breeder. There are some things I'm doing that are exactly the same, but also some things I'm doing a bit differently and taking things a bit slower. So that video should hopefully be up next week. He has just gone. Can you come back, please? Now he's gone too. That video should also be up next week showing you how I bonded with them and tips for rescue rats or rats from pet store backgrounds that are perhaps a bit more shyer that should hopefully help some people so look forward to that but I'm going to go try to round them up because they have completely disappeared and run off because they do not want to spend time with me. Do you? And that's okay. <laughs> But I hope you guys have enjoyed meeting my new rats. I'm so proud of the progress they've made in the past week and I'm really glad that I was able to get them and help them and I can't wait to see how much they progress in the next few weeks. It is definitely a process and they might never come around to being as friendly as some of the other rats I've had in the past. Where are you going? But I hope you guys have enjoyed meeting them and look forward to seeing them in more videos. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Good boy. Good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. Sweet boy. Oh my goodness. Oh honey, you're being so good. That's better.